I will show you top three stocks to buy. They have good fundamentals and good growth potential. I will display key data on the screen, technical analysis to help you understand if it's a good time to buy or not. Make sure to watch until the end because I will show you the fair value of each company. Now I'm gonna share my screen. The first stock is Zscaler. It operates as a cloud security company worldwide. According to Simply Wall Street, it is trading at 44% below estimate of its fair value. Earnings are forecast to grow at about 40% per year. And analysts believe that the stock price will rise by about 37%. Simply Wall Street believe that the fair value of the stock is $279 but the current price is only $155. I don't entirely agree with this figure and I will show you later my DCF calculator. What I like about this stock is that the management is aligned with the shareholders because CEO ownership is nearly 18% and he would want the share price to go up as high as possible. This is the screenshot from the latest earnings report and you can see here total revenue over the last five years has gone up by 50% CAGR. Free cash flow margin was 27% and revenue growth rate year over year was 30%. These are some of the numbers I'm looking for to decide if I should invest in the company or not and we will consider that when we will use the DCF calculator. Now let's have a look at Seeking Alpha website. It gives you a very easy to understand rating summary. In this case, Seeking Alpha analysts believe it's a good time to buy. Wall Street analysts also agree it's a good time to buy. But quant rating is hold. Factor grades, valuation C minus, growth B, profitability A, momentum C minus, revisions D. But what I'm gonna pay attention to in this case is operating cash flow growth forward and it says 33% meaning that operating cash flow will grow next year by 33% and we will use that number for our DCF calculator. By the way if you would like to get a discount on premium features from Seeking Alpha simply wall street or stock unlock website make sure you follow the link down below in the description and you will get a special discount now let's have a look at stock unlock website we will use this dcf calculator for zscaler metric operating cash flow number of years to project three metric growth rate 25 percent per year even though you can see that annual operating cash flow growth over the last three years was 56 percent but we will use a very conservative number at 25 percent shares outstanding growth rate three percent they don't pay any dividends price ratio once again the average price to operating cash flow over the last three years was 77 but we will be very conservative and we will use 30. so it gives us the fair value at $206, but the current stock price is only $155, meaning there is an upside of about 32%. Now let's have a look at the financials of this company on TradingView, and we will pay attention to cash from operating activities. In other words, operating cash flow. As you can see, they managed to grow the operating cash flow pretty much every quarter. In some cases, it went up by 100% year over year, 58%, 59%, 85%. So I have no doubt they should be able to grow it in future quarters by more than 25%. Now let's have a look at the technical analysis of this company. As you can see here, the stock price kept down quite a lot after earnings. It went down from $200 to nearly $150. But I find this area as a strong support because it bounced off $155 last year in October, then in May this year and in August this year. So as long as the price does not break down even further, I would believe that it will consolidate around this area and should go up from here over the next maybe six to 12 months. 
but I would wait until the price recovers a bit, reaching $160, and only then I would possibly consider adding a small portion to my portfolio. This is not a financial advice and you have to do your own research, but I believe the company has strong fundamentals and good potential. If you want additional evidence that it is a good time to consider this company for your portfolio, then wait till the stock price goes up above this red line, which is a 200 moving average. I would like to get your opinion. Would you buy Zscaler or would you invest in something else? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's have a look at Fabrinet. The company provides optical packaging and precision optical electronic manufacturing services in North America, Asia Pacific and Europe. According to Simply Wall Street, earnings are forecast to grow by 17% per year and analysts believe that the stock price will rise by about 28%. According to this website, the stock price is overvalued by 130%. Current share price is $207 but they believe the fair value is only $90. I don't agree with this figure and I'll show you in a minute why. We're back at Seeking Alpha website and Seeking Alpha analysts believe it is a hold rating. Wall Street analysts believe it's a good time to buy. Quant rating is a buy. Valuation C minus, growth C, profitability B, momentum B and revisions A. And what we are going to pay attention to is operating cash flow growth rate forward looking is 23%. Now we will use stock unlock DCF calculator, metric operating cash flow, number of years to project three, metric growth rate 20, even though over the last three years it was 50%, shares outstanding negative 0.69, they don't pay dividends. Price ratio 20, even though average price to operating cash flow over the last three years was 24. So we are quite conservative in this case. As I showed you, the growth rate according to Seeking Alpha is going to be 23%, but we are only using 20%, which is more than half than the average over the last three years. And price to ratio is a lot lower than the average over the last three years. Based on these figures, the fair value should be $300, but the current stock price is only $207. In this case, the upside is going to be nearly 46%. The sun was getting too bright, so I had to close my windows. By the way, if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because it encourages me to produce more content like this for you. Now let's have a look at the financials of this company on TradingView and we pay attention to cash from operating activities. In other words, operating cash flow. As you can see over the last five quarters, they've been doing really well. In Q4 2023, it went up by 334% year over year, then 139%, then 89%, then 171%. And in the last quarter, quarter up by 16% year over year. So on average, that's definitely well above 20% and I have no doubt they should be able to continue growing at the same rate. I also like that their income has been going up pretty much every quarter and we can see that they surprised us pretty much every quarter over the last seven quarters. Now tell me in the comments below, would you buy this company or would you buy something else? The next company is AppLovin. It engages in building a software-based platform for advertisers to enhance the marketing and monetization of their content in the US and globally. According to Simply Wall Street, the company is trading 61% below its fair value, earnings are forecast to grow by 23% per year. And we can scroll down and see that according to this website, the fair value of the stock is 221 and the current price is $86. So it is undervalued by 61%. This is the screenshot from their latest earnings report. And you can see here that cash flow is going up and net income is also trending up. But wait till we see the next bit of information. We're looking at Seeking Alpha website and the rating summary, Seeking analysts believe it's a good time to buy. Wall Street also say it's a good time to buy. Quant rating is a strong buy. You don't see that very often when full-time professional analysts and quant system 
agree that it's a good time to buy. So maybe you should consider that as well. Now let's pay attention to operating cash flow growth rate. It's been 62% year over year and the forward looking rate is 75%. Let's remember this number because we will use that for our DCF calculator. Let's move to Stock on Lock website to work out the fair value of the company. And we will use metric operating cash flow. Number of years to project three. Metric growth rate 30%, even though the company was growing at about 68% on average over the last three years. Shares outstanding negative 0.9, they don't pay any dividends. Price ratio, I decided to select 15 just to be conservative regardless of this number. And the calculator says the fair value is $105. But at the moment, the stock price is $86. So we have an upside of 22%. And I remind you that I've selected very conservative numbers. I'll show you on TradingView why I think so. Please hit the like button and subscribe because it helps me a lot. Now we're looking at the financials and cash from operating activities. In other words, operating cash flow has been going up in every single quarter. You can see here that it went up by 115%, then 14%, then 110%, 36%, and in the last quarter, it was up by 97% year over year. Therefore, I have no doubt the company should be able to grow by a modest 30% each year over the next three years. Therefore, I believe it's quite achievable for them to reach this stock price at 105 but if you believe the cash flow would grow up by 40%, then the fair value would be $132, potential upside 53%. Now let's have a look at the technical analysis. Currently the stock price is at $86, which is above this red line, that is 200 SMA, and above this yellow line, which is 50 SMA. These are all good signals that the momentum is good and the stock price is likely to still keep going up. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this company? Would you invest in it or would you buy something else? Now I'm gonna quickly review my portfolio. If you remember, I had another position in Alphabet Google, but I had to close it because I received additional information and it made me to believe that the stock price is unlikely to recover to my price target. Therefore, I decided to cut my losses and invest in something else. And make sure you subscribe and watch my next video so you can learn what I'm investing next. So at the moment, Amazon is positive at $38, Bitfarms, that's a Bitcoin company, negative $375. CleanSpark, that's another Bitcoin mining company, negative $534. Royal Caribbean Cruises, positive $22. I have to remind you that these are option contracts, meaning they are gonna be very volatile, but I'm happy to accept this risk because I'm aiming to achieve a high return and I've done it in the past. So I'm confident I will be able to repeat that. As you can see, this is my total portfolio, nearly 19,000 New Zealand dollars. If you're based overseas, that's roughly 12,000 US dollars. As you can see this blue line, that's my portfolio. And unfortunately it is underperforming S&P 500. But I still decided to deposit $5,000 because I'm preparing for the Christmas rally. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because I will upload another video about the stock market secrets. If you use my affiliate links, I'll earn a commission at no extra cost to you, which helps support the channel and cover production costs. I personally use their services for stock research. I'm not a licensed financial advisor and this information isn't financial advice.